Summer officially arrives on June 21st, and in today's episode, I'm sharing why Val Policella is one of my favorite red wines of summer. If you love patio and summer sipping, then today's episode is for you. So if you're curious to learn why Val Policella is one of my favorite wines of summer, along with some of my favorite food pairing tips, then let's dive in and get started. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Wine Shop Talk. I'm your host, Maya Aaron Rosar, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. If we haven't met before, it's lovely to have you here, and if we have, welcome back. Now, for those of you who are new, you should know that I've been a professional sommelier for over 20 years now, and it's my passion and my privilege to make learning about wine not only fun and easy, but also practical, meaning I wanna make sure that you leave every episode with real life tips and advice that you can use when you're shopping for wines, not only for fancy occasions, but for everyday meals when you're making memories with family and friends. I want you to think of me as your very own practical sommelier. Now, before I share with you my five top reasons why Val Policella is one of my favorite wines of summer, first, let's just get our bearings of what is Val Policella and where does it come from? Val Policella is a red wine that comes from the hills of Val Policella, located around the city of Venice. It is always a blended wine style, and it is made with three grapes. They are Corvina, which is seen as the backbone of the wine, Molinera, and Rondinella. Each of the other grapes bringing some flavors and some aromatics and some color into the mix. It's important to know that when you're shopping, you're going to be looking in the Italian wine aisle, and you'll see Val Policella right on the label, and then you'll see the brand or the house that is behind with Val Policella. When you see it on the label, it will always be a blended wine style from that region in Italy. Now let's break down my five top reasons of why I love this wine and why it is one of my favorite wines of summer. The first one is that it is refreshing and light to the point that the acidity is mouthwatering. So if you are a white wine lover or you find yourself drinking more white wine to the summer, one of the reasons I love this wine, especially during the summer, is that it's lighter in body. So if it's a hot summer day or evening when you're enjoying a glass of wine, sometimes a big heavy glass of Malbec or Shiraz or Cabernet is just too much sitting outside in the heat. So this is a beautiful, light, refreshing red style, has that classic Italian tang, if you will, that you're going to get great flavors of fruit, but you're going to get a mouthwatering sensation from the acidity in the wine. You can also chill this wine slightly, so it's a bit like grown-up Kool-Aid, but if you are doing some salads or grilled food, you can take a Valpolicella and throw it in the fridge for about 15 minutes before service, and it will have a slight chill, and it is lovely and perfect on the patio. Reason number two is its versatility. This wine can come up to whatever you are pairing because of that acidity that I just mentioned it can act a bit like a white wine so it's going to be delicious with foods that are grilled that are baked salads or cold summer suppers if you will you can do anything from grilled vegetable salads pizzas grilled chicken, shish kebabs. This is a wine that really comes to the table with all kinds of flavors. On the palate you're going to find flavors of cherry and raspberries and again that nice tang flavor that comes through the nice thing about Valpolicella when you're pairing it with summer dishes is it's not going to overpower again when you look at some of our fuller bodied red and white wines they can be overpowering when we're having lighter fare during the summer and Valpolicella is the best of all worlds we get a beautiful texture refreshing on the palate some lovely fruit flavors but it's not so intense that it's going to trump or cover up those beautiful summer dishes reason number three is its fruit forward profile so what can you expect in the glass Val Policella is going to deliver you a glass and aromatics filled with bright cherry and red fruit flavors such as plums. Some people will pick up a little bit of cranberry, a little bit of red currant, black and red cherries. It's delicious with all of the different flavors that come through in the glass. The nice thing about this wine, it is so versatile. It can be sipped on its own. It doesn't need food, but it can definitely be paired with light appetizers to a full-on supper. The choice is yours. Versatility is its superpower. Number four, I snuck this one in already, but it's that it's chillable. It's nice sometimes in the summer to 
take a red wine. And again, they can heat up so quickly in the sun if you're sitting out. Without Policelli, you can serve chilled. If you want to have an ice bucket on the porch or the deck if you're sitting out, you could definitely throw this bottle in that, take it out and pour so that it's going to have just a slight chill. What that chill is going to do is it's going to enhance its, its acidity, that melt water and sensation on your palate. It's delicious when you're having a bite or grilled seafood or grilled fish chicken, it's going to be very refreshing. It's just going to enheighten the experience, especially if you're looking for a bit of that tang. If you're having a barbecue sauce that is vinegar based, so remember vinegar strips the fruit out of wine because of the high acidity in Valpolicella, it is great with vinegar based dressings. Now, shameless buck, if you haven't had a chance yet to download my barbecue sauce and wine pairing guide that I've put together for the summer, the link is going to be in the show notes below and you're going to have some great wine pairing ideas with four different types of barbecue sauce in that guide. So if you love barbecuing, it's a resource you don't want to miss. You'll find the link easy to find in the show notes below. And my last reason why I love Valopolicella is value for money. Let's face it, anytime you can find a great wine and at a great price, it's a double win. And Valpolicella always comes in at a really reasonable price and it's great value for money. There's so much flavor in a glass. It is so versatile with food pairings and it's just a great bottle of wine to have in your house at all times. I would highly recommend for the summer that if you find a sale of your favorite Valpolicella, that you pick up three or six bottles because it's people friendly and food friendly. And I would highly recommend to keep it in the house at all times. It's that wine that's just a step up from rosé and it's definitely lighter than a big full red. Really has a nice space of where it fits into the wine styles that you're going to keep on hand at home. So now that you know where it comes from and the five reasons why I love it so much, let me share with you some food pairing ideas. So when you pick up a bottle and bring it home, you'll have some ideas of how you want to bring it together to create some scrumptious pairings on your patio. The first one is grilled sausages. So whether it's Italian sausage or chorizo, even a bratwurst sausage, or maybe you have chicken and apple sausage, for example, because of the acidity and the bright fruit flavors that comes from the grilled sausage and Valpolicella is delicious. Now, if you want to, you can also throw this just with some pasta and a little bit of olive oil on top and some grilled fresh summer vegetables. It's delicious, but if you just feel like sausage on a bun and want a light glass of red wine on the side, the Valpolicella's fruity and soft spice notes come through when you're dealing with the smoky richness of those sausages and it is a delicious mouthwatery pairing you are going to want to try. The next one is barbecue ribs. Now generally I am a fan of Zinfandel when serving barbecue ribs but if you're looking for something a little bit lighter then definitely Valpolicella is here especially if you're doing a classic barbecue sauce that isn't too sweet isn't too smoky but does have that tang to it then the Valpolicella is a great choice here and sometimes you just don't want a really rich full-bodied wine such just Zinfandel and Valpolicella 100% fits the bill here. Now grilled chicken, Valpolicella is a delicious choice whether you are marinating the chicken or serving with barbecue sauce. Chicken has very little fat in it and so when we pair chicken you might have heard that you don't put chicken with red wines. The reason being is that the tannin, the mouth drying sensation in red wines, goes directly to the protein in chicken. There's no fat or marbling for it to go to so the chicken ends up tasting a little bit drier. Now, Valpolicella, because it's light and because of its mouth-watering acidity, is a really nice balance here. And so it's not so aggressive or overpowering with the chicken. And it's a really delicious choice. If you're looking for a red and you want to have some barbecue chicken, this is delicious. Now, grilled vegetables, delicious. Whether it's eggplant or peppers or zucchini, you're doing a mixed mash of grilled vegetables. Maybe you're putting them on a flatbread or a pizza. Here, definitely Valpola shines, the different earthiness, you have that great acidity of the wine. They are delicious that way. So if you're just doing some grilled vegetable salads, maybe a little bit of cheese on top, oil and vinegar dressing, this is delicious for maybe a little balsamic dressing. But either way, grilled vegetables are a great match for Valpolicella. And finally, the last pair I want to share with you is a classic grilled hamburger. You cannot go wrong with Valpolicella. Again, generally I am a Zimtendel girl, especially if I'm doing a burger with all kinds of toppings on it, but just a delicious burger, especially in the afternoon, you want something a little bit lighter. We have a bunch of 
ketchup and relish and pickles and everything on top. Valpolicella with that mouth-watering sensation, a little bit of spice that comes off of it. It's just a really great wine to pair with a burger with all kinds of flavors. The acidity of Valpolicella is also going to act as a mouth-watering palate cleanser, if you will, in between bites of that luscious, delicious grilled burger. So now you know the five reasons behind why Valpolicella is one of my favorite wines of summer and a few of my favorite food pairings on how to use it as well. I hope in today's episode I have inspired you to take a wander down your favorite wine store into the Italian wine aisle and look for Valpolicella to try on your deck or patio this summer. Now, as always, if you have any questions or comments about this week's episode, feel free to email me at hello at winegirlacademy.com. Or if you're watching on YouTube, just leave a comment below. Now, as always, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. New episodes come out every Tuesday. And as a reminder, the link is going to be in the show notes below so you can download the barbecue sauce and wine pairing guide that I put together that is perfect as we head into the official days of summer. On that note, I want to wish you a wonderful week. Cheers to you. Bye now.